with the last ever Smash Ultimate reveal being Sora, I thought it'd be fun to rank every single Smash character reveal trailer. The classic title card for characters officially started in Smash 4, but Brawl also technically had a few character reveals as well. I'll be ranking them all into a tier list from D tier to S+. Why S+. Well, I want to be a bit more objective in this list, and so I'm ranking the trailers based on not necessarily the character themselves, but rather three criteria I've narrowed it down to. Hype, pacing, context. By hype, I mean, you know, does it have a cool action sequence, or are there never before seen interactions? Is the character themselves a fan favorite that people have been waiting for? For pacing, does the trailer itself drag on too long? Can someone who has no idea who the character is enjoy the trailer? And then context. What time period is this being released in? Does the inclusion of this character mark the beginning of something? Cause you can't rank reveals in a vacuum, you know, you gotta consider how hyped they were at the time as well. And so the S plus tier is therefore reserved for those truly special trailers. The ones that might bring goosebumps for not only being beautiful, but also being iconic. With that being said, let's hop right into it. Ridley's reveal, bonkers. Mario is in so many of these reveal trailers and sometimes get hurt, but in this one he actually gets f***ing skewered. You see the pain in Samus' expression like, damn, this guy's a menace and now he's in Smash? The tagline was perfect. First meme, quote unquote, to be referenced in Smash. And so yeah, honestly for me, this one was an S plus tier reveal for hype, murder, and being a fan favorite character. Rosa's trailer is a bit long winded, but beautifully made. You got asshole Kirby cheating in a Mario Kart race and causing an accident. What the hell, man? You could have killed someone. But then Kirby eats shit from the galaxy thing, and then you're like, oh, wait, we're in Rainbow Road 2. This is, this is Rosalina. And honestly, to an extent, I like the build-up. Half the fun of the reveals is seeing characters interact with each other who never do. In this case, you got the Mario Kart cast and Kirby interacting, but it's not really that much, you know? Only when Kirby zooms by, nothing crazy on that end. But overall, because this trailer is so beautiful, it's definitely an A tier. Little Max reveal is also long-winded, but also beautiful. The animation for this is so sick. Honestly, I prefer a unique style like this, as opposed to the 3D, you know, CGI look that's normally there in Smash 4. The trailer itself is hype as hell too, it gets me pumped like I wanna go beat the shit out of something. This was the first explicit reveal of a cheese mechanic too, like yeah we saw Wario waft in Brawl but that could've been a final smash or something. Here? They showed us, yeah this character cheats fellas, watch out. A tier free. Though we all knew an ARMS character was coming, they made the Min Min reveal kinda cool honestly by having some great animation. Seeing Falcon eat ramen was funny, and the action with the ARMS character were solid. But that's the thing, it's ARMS, there were like 10 people actually excited for it, and the fact we knew for like a month it was ARMS didn't help the hype. So yeah, I want to put it in C tier because of lack of hype and it being ARMS, but at the same time the animation is absolutely gorgeous, the action is crazy, and it has great character interaction, so bottom of B tier to be generous. Snake was the first third party character ever in Smash. I never knew Snake before Smash, but this was huge, like legit changed everything we knew about potential for Smash newcomers. The thing is though, we didn't get a whole ass trailer, legit it was just like 15 seconds at the end of a reveal for Brawl, so I'm just gonna put him at the top of S instead of being S plus tier. But man, no, hearing that code I call sound effect alone would change Smash Bros forever. Animation and budget wise, Piranha Plant's trailer is pretty mid. Character wise, this is to date one of the craziest f***ing reveal trailers ever. I remember seeing him pop out and thinking, what the hell is this? Then he rolls and does an F smash? And then I process the fact that this f***er could actually be a fighter? A tier for shock factor alone. Man, they did Daisy dirty. It was just like, hey, we got echoes now. Here's one. Okay, let's move on. It just felt really thrown in, as opposed to being an actual reveal, so D tier, unfortunately. Corrin had a pretty bad trailer. If you played this game or not, you know it's gonna be a Fire Emblem character from the start, yet it still takes way too long to show. Corrin themselves were pretty underwhelming as a reveal, like, a lot of Fire Emblem fans don't even like Corrin. Low end of C tier for sure. Honestly, might even be D tier. Of all the characters to make an incredibly sick ass trailer for, they chose Bowser Jr. Literally, fellas, you have this guy traveling through the desert looking to kick some ass. He finds people and shoots a fing cannon at them. Got all these iconic characters facing off a seven year old, and they were losing! And then you have seven more of them all ready to face off in this Avengers type of fight? 
absolutely amazing they actually make this low tier ass bitch menacing as hell the only thing is by this point we knew junior was in the game so the hype was reduced character wise but regardless it's too astounding to not be an a tier at the very least duck hunts trailer took a little long to get to the point but man it was so good seeing the og sprites of the old characters was so nice and the duck hunt transformation into the modern world absolutely amazing those same deal as bowser jr where at this point we knew he was in the game already so this trailer definitely isn't the same level as Junior's. I think it's only fair that he gets put in the B tier. I had no clue who Joker was before Smash, but wow, this was extremely stylish. It was so Persona 5 themed that most Persona fans thought it'd be some Persona DLC as opposed to being a whole ass Smash character. The fact the other Phantom Thieves do all the talking is amazing. The cool little Smash shadows, no gameplay whatsoever. Man, yeah, this was a great first DLC for Ultimate, honestly. Solid A tier. The Brawl announcement trailer had the hype of not only a brand new ass game, but also a bunch of other characters. The hype must have been crazy then, seeing shit like Meta Knight, ZSS, and the final smash without any context? And then having the coded call with Snake in the end? Bonkers, S plus tier free. Pyramithra's reveal is really long winded, like it took forever to actually get to the smash reveal. I thought it was neat, you know, I honestly didn't see it coming and so the letter reveal was like, whoa, what? The characters themselves though were eh, you know, they felt like a base game character instead of having them as DLC, so that felt kind of weird. The only reason they're not in D tier was because of this little interaction with Shulk, that was fucking cool, so congrats on the C, Pyramithra. K Rule's reveal was so good. The little teaser with the heroes versus villains and then seeing DK right after, you instantly knew who it was. Although you know kind of early, they make it obvious on purpose so they could play out the joke, which is amazing since they've never really blatantly poked fun at the fan base before. <laughs> K. Rool was a gift, super great intro, and had a really badass moment in the end too, where Donkey Kong and K. Rool were facing off. Yeah, S plus here for being so unique and sick. Charizard's trailer is the first trailer where there's a focus on two characters instead of one. Really f***ing sick though for Charizard, he reps the Pokemon squad and does an assault dive on Mario. So badass, oh my goodness. Like even though it's Charizard and we've seen him a million times, it's still so cool seeing him in action. Greninja was also revealed in this trailer and it's like the peacemaker between the fight going on, you know, kinda lame Greninja. He's like the Captain America in that one Iron Man and Thor fight. That's enough. It was sick as hell knowing Greninja was in the game, but I feel like Charizard was the highlight of the trailer. But, you know, it's the same trailer, so might as well put them both in the A tier. I'm gonna say it right off the bat, Lucina's trailer is an S tier. At this point, I had never heard of Lucina. I didn't care at all that she was introduced, but Falcon steals the show, man. It's the first time ever we see him in a trailer, and he almost got to say Falcon Punch. They make him look so badass in his fighting animation, and it's literally exactly what you think Falcon would look like and act like in a fight. Just badass as hell. You know, even though it's Lucina's trailer, she's getting her ass beat. But, you know, the sword drag and the valor in protecting this guy were pretty solid. Then you got Robin, who comes in like a badass, saving Lucina. But then Falcon jumps like 30 feet in the air! Oh my god, sorry, okay. This is not Falcon's trailer. Uh, no, okay, so Lucina and Robin even get voice lines later, acknowledging the other Fire Emblem characters, and that's pretty sick. See, the thing is, Robin and Lucina's trailer gets amplified tenfold by having a character from a separate series interact with them, and that character being a classic from the Smash Bros. series as well. So that's honestly what makes the trailer for me half the time. Sick animation, sick action. I will never forget this trailer. S tier. Palutena's trailer had a fucking amazing animation with Pit and Link. One of the coolest interactions in the series outside of subspace. Palu herself was alright, like, Sakurai, what the, what the hell is this? But because the fight is included in her trailer, this definitely gives her a massive boost with just how sick and beautiful it is. Was also probably neat for the 10 Kid Icarus fans to see Pit and Palo at it again. A tier. Dark Pit. What's up, buddy? It's like they're throwing a bone to the Kid Icarus fans. He doesn't even get a splash. He comes at the end of somebody else's reveal trailer. Yeah, that's gonna put him in D tier. Simon's trailer had amazing visual, but it takes a little long to get there. Like you're wondering who the hell this is while Luigi has a heart attack in his little adventure. Simon unfortunately could not save Luigi before he died, but regardless, it's a good ass trailer. You know, it's beautiful, but the storyline's kind of eh, in my opinion. Luigi never really interacts with Simon. Simon comes in kind of late, and it's just, I don't know, it lets the hype die down a bit. It's the kind of trailer you watch, and it's awesome the first time, but every time after that, it's just alright. High B tier. 
In the same boat as Simon, Richter comes in clutch, which is nice, but yeah, it doesn't get too much screen time. Had a really badass line, and it was really unexpected, which was cool. Sora is an easy S plus tier. Being the last Smash Ultimate character is not an easy feat to live up to, but Sora definitely did. While I've never played Kingdom Hearts, the fact it was the most requested fighter in the entirety of Smash Bros says something about Sora. The trailer itself was an amazing homage to the first Ultimate trailer, and not only does it have the most amount of fighters shown in any trailer, but this shot alone seals the deal, man. Also, Mickey fucking Mouse? What the hell? Get your ass up there, Sora. Hero S plus tier, honestly. No fucking clue who Hero was, but anyone coming in a white stallion to save Link out of all characters is gonna get some points from me. Not only were the interactions sick as hell with Link 2v1ing Meta Knight and Marth, but also the shadow versions of these characters were absolutely stunning to see come back. The storyline this had was f***ing sick too, a hero coming in clutch, and then even more heroes coming in clutch. Like with the intro alone it was already amazing, but this middle portion solidified it as one of the GOAT reveal trailers. Sonic's reveal is legendary. This is the first true character reveal trailer in Smash Bros that's actually dedicated to one character. Like that's how special Sonic is. It's wild, because it starts with Mario literally using gunshots against Goombas? You have this annoying propeller sound in the background, but then, you know, you see the shoes and oh my goodness, it's him. Motherfucking live and learn starts playing and every hair on your body is standing straight up. The first and only time people saw Spin Dash and erupted in cheers. And then, the realization hits you. Sonic the Hedgehog is in fucking Smash Brother, baby. Holy shit! S plus tier. Pac-Man for me, top three intros for a reveal free. I had no idea what they were alluding to at first, you know, with all the colors and stuff, but watching it again, it's so clear it was Pac-Man. It's so simple, nothing fancy going on, but the use of the colors and older characters to get a yellow circle making go, huh? And then seeing the waka waka, holy crap, I popped off, not gonna lie. The rest of his trailer is pretty meh, though, you know, it's just the beginning that's good, and it's not too long, so high B tier. Overall though, Smash 4 did a fantastic job with the reveal so far. It kind of sucks that one of the most iconic fighting game characters ever got a pretty standard trailer. On the other hand, this is how you make a low budget trailer turn out really cool. It really gets you pumped, you know who it's gonna be, but it plays out for the perfect amount of time while also having a solid reference to the original game. B tier. Kazuya had amazing animation in this trailer, and the rawest start to any reveal ever by having a dead Ganondorf being thrown off. I feel it gets to the actual reveal though way too quick, you know, there's not really any hype build up. I want to put Kazuya in B tier, but the way he just straight up murders multiple characters and attempts to get Kirby is just too goaded. A tier. Krom got the same treatment as Daisy, RIP, Dark Samus, Lamau, you're right here buddy. Mewtwo was the first ever Smash Bros DLC character ever. That was huge. And Mewtwo himself being a veteran of the series that was cut before was also big news. The trailer itself is kind of ass, you know, just Mewtwo's throbbing eye, but because of the historical context, I'm gonna put him in A tier. For Bayo, I'm honestly gonna put her in C tier. She unfortunately had the hype of being the final DLC for Smash 4 riding on her. The trailer starts and it's just gameplay footage. You hear Bayo's voice before seeing her, which was probably super hype for the Bayo fans, but eh, for me, I was super underwhelmed. Never heard of Bayo, and with the trailer itself being mid too, I was not impressed. Oh, S plus tier for you, buddy, are you kidding? I had no idea who Sephiroth was, but he made a great first impression by literally cutting Galeem in half. This was like a whole ass short film. The actions and graphics were f***ing bonkers. Like this scene alone is so f***ing raw. Then the 1v1 with Cloud must have been a Final Fantasy VII fan's wet dream. Nah, this trailer is absolutely on another level. Probably the best Smash Bros reveal for a single character. Banjo's trailer, which is essentially a sequel to K. Rules, really good for similar reasons. I love how the DK characters are hyping their boy up too, it's so cute. Not as crazy as a K. Rule trailer in my opinion, since we've seen the idea before and so it doesn't feel as fresh, but overall it was an amazing gift to Banjo fans and just so well executed that it's still an S tier. Mii's, as much as I don't like them, they're S plus tier, come on. This trailer is the type of shit you even now you show your friends like, damn, this was sick as hell. They put so much effort into it, and getting to see Reggie versus Iwata was glorious. The first and only time we see live action in a trailer as well. You know, they somehow managed to make Mii's hype, which I didn't think was possible. Yeah, you got it, buddy. S plus tier. Roy had a pretty mid-reveal. 
It's cool that we got Roy back, but the trailer itself is really lackluster. No animation or anything crazy. You know, it's funny we got that Roy moving Roy out of the way, but very meh overall. I know so many of you guys are going to be disappointed, but I had no idea who Cloud was before Smash. Super underwhelming for me since the trailer itself was objectively meh. Only fans of the series could understand it from the beginning. Everyone else was watching stars and shit and a white screen, but Cloud getting revealed was kind of huge. Like, I didn't understand it till I read the comments on the Reddit reveal thread, and it wasn't even the hype, but just the pure, raw, unadulterated shock. Even though the trailer itself is eh, and I didn't care for Cloud, it still kind of got to go in S tier, even just for the historical significance alone. Terry's trailer was very stylish, but very long-winded. If you're not a Fatal Fury fan, you're just kind of waiting patiently. If you are, you're hyped, but you kind of know who it's going to be and you're just waiting it for it to get there. Overall, not a very good trailer, I feel. Though it's very faithful to the game, which is always nice to see. I'm going to put it in C tier. I remember exactly where I was and what I was doing when the Inkling trailer came out. Seeing that smash symbol on Inkling's eye after thinking, bruh, more Splatoon news, 10 seconds ago made me go from 0 to 100. Not only was it a great reveal for Inkling, but the reveal for Ultimate was just so f***ing RAW! All the silhouettes and the big ball of fire, this was a good time to be a Nintendo fan. S plus tier. Wii Fit's trailer is so good. Short, but sweet. Perfect execution. You're staring at the Wii Fit thing going, eh? Is this a Wii U Fit? But then it pans out to the fellas. Must have been insane at the time, because Wii Fit fit it's such an out there pick overall gonna put her in b tier though because the trailer's not bad it's just you know nothing crazy i vaguely knew of ken before smash but his reveal gave me a perfect look at who he was cocky hot-headed even in an in-game trailer you can see him hitting on zelda before link comes through also murders little mac nah this is a fantastic trailer the action here is so good and it's a great look at ken who got the justice ryu didn't incineroar also gets revealed in the same trailer as ken uh, he shows ken who's boss actually has a cute interaction with other characters. It's cool, a little less so, but same trailer, so S tier. Lucas's trailer has a special place in my heart. Initially, I didn't buy Smash 4 because as a hardcore Lucas main in Brawl, hearing he wasn't in the new game made me completely disinterested. But then, I heard him say PK Fire in this trailer. PK Fire! Like, wow, if it weren't for him coming back as DLC, I honestly might not be with this channel today since I never would have cared enough to buy the game without him. Well, if someone could have made the actual trailer itself with the replay function and smash and called it a day, this reveal had just so much personal connection to me that it's an S tier for that. And I know this goes against everything I said earlier and how I was going to rank it, but I swear this is the only character on this list that I'm truly biased toward. Byleth comes from my top 3 favorite games of all time. With that being said, their trailer is hot garbage. Like actually really, really bad. I don't know if you know this, but a huge portion of the intro is literally copy and paste from a scene that happens in the game. When I played it and got to this part, it was the weirdest sense of deja vu. And then I remembered the reveal and holy sh**, it's literally the same thing. At this point, it doesn't even feel like a reference, but just laziness since they're not even spicing anything up or making it unique. No, it's literally the same thing. Also, everyone knows it's Violet from the beginning, so you just kind of want to get to it already, but it drags on for so long. Also, side note, Violet can't fly. He never flies in game. This looks so funny. What the hell is this? Overall, just terrible pacing, underwhelming character reveal, just not hype at all. Violet themselves were super controversial, but, you know, the fact the trailer was so ass makes it go in a tier of its own. I never rank Mega Man in vids like these, but it'd be a sin to not include him in this one. For Mega Man fans, just being able to see his reveal alone was probably sick as hell. But the storyline in the trailer was solid as hell too. You got Mega Man getting his ass beat, but then the reference to collecting enemy moves comes in clutch. Not only was this trailer f***ing beautiful, but the fact that they were so faithful to his games while also making it a treat to watch for people not as familiar with Mega Man, Puts us in a solid A tier. Billy was the first character who actually got the now canon invitation letter. Not only did he start the neat trend, but it's also revealed Smash 4 as a whole. The villager part of the trailer is cute, you know, nothing crazy. It's really the Smash 4 trailer that makes it hype as hell. So A tier overall. The only reveal in Smash history that crashed Twitter as far as I know. I never played Minecraft before Steve came out, so I didn't get the Minecraft references like some people probably noticed before. So, seeing him for myself with the splash was just pure shock. No! No! No way! Is this a me? 
While the trailer itself wasn't anything crazy, Steve Minecraft being a Smash character? You know, like the guy from the most popular, you know, video game franchise of all time? Yeah, that one? In Smash? That's an S plus tier moment, for sure. Listen, Isabelle is the cutest thing ever. I never knew who she was before Smash, but as soon as I saw the trailer, I knew we were pals. Her trailer kind of drags on a bit and is literally a dual advertisement for Animal Crossing as well, so not the best trailer, but overall I thought it had a lot of charm to it and repped Isabel perfectly. B tier. I've never heard of Shulk before Smash, but this trailer gave me a perfect idea of how he's like. Upbeat attitude with a cool accent, sick ass f***ing sword, and some kind of predicting the future ability. The trailer had pretty much no flaws, even a badass slow-mo fight against Marth and Link, and also Bowser was hunting him down in the beginning. What the hell have you been up to, Shulk? The only thing is that despite being a fan of this game now, Shulk is a character I could not appreciate at the time, and I imagine 99% of people couldn't either. So I'm just gonna put him in A tier. The everyone is here reveal. Holy balls. Okay, this had so many good moments within like 20 seconds. Breath of the Wild Link. New Zelda design. Sonic made it back. Ice Climbers and Pokemon Trainer were resurrected. Falcon Punch, fuck yeah! Cloud made it back. And then, this scene changed the Smash series forever. This was fucking bonkers, dude. Like, the fact they show Pichu right after to make you realize, wait, they mean literally everyone. To this day, the raw hype from this alone, I think, makes it the best reveal in the series. And as a result, it is number one in S plus tier. And that's it, baby. That's the entirety of the Smash Bros. reveal trailers. Their journey of looking back through all of these was nostalgic, but also kind of sad. What was once Sakurai's baby has turned into a massive crossover franchise that we honestly might not see the likes of again. Never did I think a game that I played for the first time in 4th grade at a friend's house would become my career, one of the, my biggest passions ever. I'm excited for whatever comes next, but at the same time, it's bittersweet that the ending of the Sakurai era has come. And look at that, the man has the audacity to be the one thanking us. What an absolute king, we're so lucky to have him. But anyway, fellas, thank you so much for making it this far and watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like or comment or subscribe. You know the deal. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.